Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. So today, I just wanted to come to you ladies with five of my top five fragrances that I always buy, with the exception of one. Um, a friend of mine put me onto it, and I just so happened to find it one day. But I think it's actually um, not out of stock. I don't think they make it anymore. So, they're all affordable, guys. <laughs> so, we love affordable things. And let's just jump right into it. And the first one is Chanel Chance. Now, guys, I, I really love this perfume. It's very, it's a light scent. Um, I think you could also wear it to sleep if you are a person who likes to wear perfume at night. I usually wear my other, what is it? I forget the name of it, but the big flower one, Daisy. Um, but this is very light, chance is good. The other one, the number five, I think it stinks. However, when I went to Chanel to buy my brooch guys, they had some really amazing perfume that you could only get at the boutique. So I think I'm still gonna go back and get it because it was so good. But this one is good. So that Chanel Chance is the first one. And that's still very sweet. Another sweet one. It's not super sweet. But it's more... It's still... It gives you a little something. Now, this is the Joe Malone Poppy and Barley. Oh my god, I love this, guys. I love this one. Poppy and Barley. Still affordable. Um, This one... Let's see. Yeah, I'll probably pop the notes in from each one on the screen somewhere for you guys. But this one is good. I have two Joe Malone's. I forget the other one, but this I like like this one the best. Um, so this is still very light scent, not over the top, but people are going to know that you paid some money for it. Not Tom Ford money, but something. <laughs> um the next one is my Christian Dior. Ugh, everybody doesn't like this. I, I realize that I like a little bit of musk, musk, musk scent, which is the Miss Dior perfume. I, honestly, guys, I love it. You know, I do. Um, my mom was a, a perfume lover, okay? And my dad actually was a cologne man. So the older I got, I was like, oh, I really, really like it. I used to buy Christian Dior, J'adore, for like forever. And then, what was the other one? Marc Jacob. Those are the only two I used to buy, but then I started branching out. Um, and I think I purchased those because when I used to work in the office, it wasn't too loud, but it still made a statement. Yes, so this is Miss Dior, the perfume. Perfume, all right? And then here's the one that one of my friends put me on to. This is, hold on, let me clean it off. So you guys can see it. Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This, I don't think they sell this anymore. I caught this at like Saks, it's off Saks or something like that. You know how they have perfume like in the front? And she said she's been wearing it for years, but it's very hard to find. And I like it. It's still. A nice light scent not too heavy guys um, all of these are light scents that Miss Dior has a little bit of musk but then my YSL this YSL now there's two you guys know this is the intense one the bottle is just so pretty but it has more of a I think it has like a masculine scent it's the dark one Okay, so this one I would only wear out. Okay, I wouldn't sit around the house in this. Um, I would sit around the house in the Chanel, and I would sit around the house in this Flora Botanica. I would. Um, something light. You don't want to have anything too heavy on going to sleep. But these are my top five. They're all affordable, guys. So listen. Pick them up. Um, let me know if you have the lighter versions of this and how do you like it. 
because when I purchased this, I was under the impression that I got the lighter one, and then I got this, and I was like, um, I wasn't too sure, but I actually really, 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 really like it. Um, and you guys know, once you put on perfume, it really depends on your body chemistry with it. So this may not smell the same on somebody else as it does smell on me, and it's just what it is. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with your eating and stuff like that. So that I don't know. But these are my top. If you're trying to build a perfume collection, I would recommend not, not going crazy, okay? Buy really good ones that last and that stay on your skin. Um, having thousands and thousands of perfume bottles, it's not really worth it. I don't know the longevity on them, but just imagine having hundreds of perfumes in your home and you only get to squirt like one twice a month or maybe once a month for one of them. It's kind of like a waste of money. Um, now, some people like that. I'm not judging. <laughs> but I just think it's like a waste. Um, just find really, really good ones that you like and let it be your smell. Now, I am going to purchase probably uh, two more perfumes. But I'm trying to wait until I get rid of maybe this YSL. Um, that way... Um, cause I don't know if I'm going to replace this one. And I also have, you know what, when I went to Dubai, um, I went with someone and she's from Romania, but we, she lives in Qatar. So we were in Qatar and we ended up going to Dubai, but when we were in Qatar, I ended up purchasing some perfume and they made it out of wood which was crazy because it has a really nice smell. So I like, this was really, really creative. So yeah, so make sure you're buying things that are within your budget. Um, don't buy things because everybody else has it. Make sure you like the way it smells because the ladies on YouTube was about to have me buy, what was the name of that perfume? What's the perfume in the pink bottle? I, I don't, I'm gonna find a, <laughs> find a name and I'll pop it in, I'll pop it in a picture. But it did not smell good to me, like at all. So. You really have to pay attention to how it is on your body. Take those samples with you, put them on, go throughout the day and see how you actually feel with the, how you smell with it, if you like it on you, if people compliment you. If they don't, it may not be the smell for you and that's okay guys. So buy what works for you um, and possibly some of the stuff that we recommend that you know, that you can, that you would like. Um, jo Malone has really good scents. So I would say, I love this one. I would say make sure it goes good with your body chemistry. That's it because this poppy and barley, actually people may not like it, but it goes really well with my skin, my body, my chemistry. So that's it. Those are my five top affordable perfumes that I will be wearing for the rest of the summer. With the exception of the YSL, it's something that I'm probably only going to wear at nighttime, guys, because it's so heavy. But if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY. That is my business page, Coco Styles NYC. Personal page and my blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And my styling services, CocoStylesNY.com. Guys, make sure you are grabbing that essentials list so you can start building your work wardrobe because you guys know I am a stylist for corporate professional women, okay guys? So, um, for the professional and leisure time, guys. So, I will catch you guys in the next one. I'll catch you later, bye guys.